The ultimate Monkey Island Monday is going to be upon us very, very soon. In a matter of fact, it's only just uh, going to be five more days as of the time of recording this particular video. I'm a couple of days late with this week's Monkey Island Monday and last week's Monkey Island Monday I was actually on annual leave away in Mallorca sorting myself around a pool. So I've missed the boat a little bit here but if I get a, get a video made so you can hear my thoughts on what we've seen and we can continue to get the hype train rolling for the return to monkey island release due on the 19th of september which is international talk like a pirate day which is also going to be the funeral day of our beloved queen elizabeth ii just hope the archbishop doesn't do a eulogy talking like a pirate although the queen would probably find that quite funny to be fair but there is still plenty of time for you to get your own nice shiny horse armor through pre-ordering the game i've got mine already pre-ordered ready to play on the 19th hopefully it'll be available on steam before five o'clock gmt but that's the time i'm expecting it i've not seen it confirmed anywhere what time the game will go live but i think that makes sense that it's going to be in line with us time so we'll start off we'll have a little look at last week's monkey island monday where we see guybrush interacting with the new pirate leaders within the scum bar there's potentially also a little hint regarding the time frame we're going to be playing in at this particular point but let's dive in and have a look seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? I'm Kybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. Okay, so in this particular clip, there's not really been anything extra that we can theorise from necessarily or, or, or mull over. It's all very much stuff that we've seen before in terms of the scenes. The only difference is we've been able to speak to the pirate leaders, hear the voices. We can certainly see that Captain Madison is the lady in charge of this particular group. We've also got the little pirate leader who comes across as a bit of an emo teenager. And they do actually refer to Guybrush as being an old man. Now... Is that because we have had quite a bit of a time jump and Guybrush is actually quite old in this particular part of the game? Or is Guybrush still going to be in his mid-twenties perhaps, but this little emo teenager is just calling him old because everybody's old to them? Who knows? Who knows? But it has been revealed in a couple of articles actually that the game will start off where Monkey Island 2 left off, at the carnival, but then something bizarre is going to happen now there's been no information about what this bizarre happening is but it certainly seems as though there is actually going to be a bit of a time jump so i've been sort of back and forth with this idea that there's going to be a time jump i did give up hope that there was going to be a time jump uh, but now i think it actually is having seen what i have in other articles but then also from this little clip here so does that mean we could get morgan the ghost pirate hunter making an appearance in return to monkey island i know morgan's a character that a lot of people would love to see so it'd be interesting to see whether morgan does make an appearance i suppose it all depends on whether morgan will fit in with the storyline another character i'm hoping does make an appearance is captain kate capsize i don't really know if that's going to happen but i do think there could be quite a good juicy storyline there with captain kate capsize perhaps pursuing her vendetta against guybrush after guybrush falsely got her imprisoned on fast island but the good thing is we've not actually got long to wait until we find all this lovely information out. So hopefully there'll be a few little surprises in the game when we get there. But let's have a look now at this week's Monkey Island Monday. We do finally get to see the three men of low moral fibre, but they're not quite how we remember them. Well, if it isn't Frank, Fred and Finn, how are you? What you be talking about, boy? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. In a good way, I promise. Aren't you that Guybrush Threepwood what wants to be a pirate? And you're the pirate leaders. I was looking for you. Aye, well, we're not the pirate leaders no more. Former pirate leaders is what we are. 
Yeah, I already met the chilling trio who took your place. And your table. Escaped with your life, I see. What did you mean, wants to be a pirate? I've been a pirate for a long time now. You may call yourself that, but remember the three trials. I remember them. I was proud to complete them. I still talk about it sometimes. Ad nauseum, Elaine says. It's Latin for something. Be that as it may, I don't recall us being presented with evidence as to the completion of all three. That were part of your instructions at the time. Oh no, really? Tis true enough. Uh, listen, can this wait a little longer? I've got a lot on my to-do list right now. I it matters not. We've all of us moved on. So this week's Monkey Island Monday has revealed the men of low moral fiber, but it's not the original ones that we've had in previous games. They have now been replaced by the old pirate captains. So no longer are they working in their shop. In this scene, they're stood on the corner in place of the old men of low moral fiber, which is quite interesting. And we do actually get to see within this scene that Guybrush hasn't actually been confirmed as a pirate. And if you can remember back to Secret of Monkey Island, you were only able to show them two of the pieces of evidence because when you, once you got the third one, and that was the time that the LeChuck came to Malay Island and everybody disappeared or went into hiding. So Guybrush never had the chance to show that third final piece of evidence to show that he had passed the pirate trials. Speaking of the three trials, I do think there is going to be another three trials within Return to Monkey Island over on Bermuda. From what we've seen previously, it looks as though Guybrush is going to be in quite a spot of bother and is going on trial for some sort of pirating crime, I expect. It's probably something quite trivial knowing Guybrush. But we do see that Guybrush is taking part in an eating contest and also a staring contest. But then we also see the clip of Guybrush underwater. And I don't think this is necessarily this part of the trial, but I do think there's going to be a trial for who can hold the breath for the longest underwater. And I think that is what's going to give Guybrush his freedom from Bermuda and prove his innocence. Let me know in the comments how hyped are you for Return to Monkey Island. I'm going to be doing a bit of a playthrough for the channel. So do keep your eyes open for that one. But if you do want to see more point and click adventure game content and return to Monkey Island content, then do consider subscribing. There's loads of great point and click adventure games coming out over the next few months and we are going to cover them all on this channel. So do subscribe to keep up to date with all these new fantastic games that are coming your way. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.